All right, Carnahan family, I want to show you the latest and greatest on uh, what's going on with your boy, buddy. Um, this week, uh, it has been hot, uh, so we are working either late, late at night or early, early in the morning, making sure dogs stay uh, cool uh, and happy. So um, uh, we're fighting the weather, but we're, we're making it work. Um, bottom line is, for buddy, though, I'm real happy. He's been doing great. Um, I feel like Buddy has been really been growing up uh, these last couple weeks. Um, I feel like he's uh, becoming more of a dog and less of a puppy. Um, he's got great drive to go retreat. Good boy. Yeah. Um, and I'm only going to give him one fun one there because we have um, we have a hot morning. Nope. He stole it. And. Uh, we got a nice cool breeze. Come here. Okay, okay. Let me get your toy. We got a nice cool morning with a breeze, so we are taking advantage uh, while we can because it's going to be hot here in a little bit. We got another heat warning today, so uh, we're going to work the dogs this morning and get everybody laying down where it's cool for the afternoon. So, I want to show you where we're at in the process with his formal training. Um, like I said, I feel like Buddy sit is uh, growing up um, well he doesn't really roll over and show you his belly he's not jumping around like a wild man once he's got the leash on he understands this is time to work and that's good we should start to see that and we'll see that develop more over the next several weeks um, as we go through this process um, as far as timeline goes I feel like buddy is right on track um, I feel like he's not surging ahead or falling behind um, I feel like he's right on pace, and so I'm happy with Buddy's progress. Uh, I feel like he is learning, and I feel like he is doing what I want. Now, what we're doing this week is we have been working on uh, really by far the hardest step in all of the whole gun dog training, which is where we put the force in force fetch. And what I mean by that is we are going to apply pressure to the dog get him to respond by grabbing the force fetch stick. Now, this is not always pretty, um, and sometimes it, it takes a great deal of patience before a dog uh, understands the process. Sometimes we call this breaking the dog, again, force breaking getting them to understand what we want. The reality is all I'm doing is I am applying pressure to the dog's ear and we want him to grab the stick. That's all this step is today. Um, and so um, I'll show you how he's doing with this. Uh, Buddy is, uh, I would describe him as very typical with this process. Are you done? Huh? All right, sit. So all I'm doing is I'm gonna take my left hand, all right, and I'll do this here on camera so you can see it. And I am going to squeeze his ear about that hard, all right? Does not need to be hard does not need to hurt the dog sit um, we do not need to um, usually we don't need to make the dog howl or squeal um, we simply need him to understand that when you get the stick in your mouth the pressure goes away so um, I'm just gonna squeeze right here and notice he's defying this and that's okay good and then he comes to the stick Fetch. Good. Give. All right, and we just only want him to hold it for a couple of seconds here. I'm not worried about a long, thorough hold. This one is about get the stick in your mouth. Sit. He may paw at me. He may do lots of stuff. Try to defy it. But there is no escape other than the stick. Fetch. Good boy. Good. Ah. Boy. Fetch. And he's still wanting to roll it a little in his mouth and want to play with it a little bit. Give! Which is okay. We're not fighting that too much yet. We'll work on tweaking that as we go along here. Um, what we want is we're simply trying to establish the idea pressure, get the stick in your mouth. And here he's avoiding it. That's perfectly okay. He immediately turned away. That's all right because. We apply slow, steady pressure. The pressure hasn't come off yet. And we're gonna let him come to the stick. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. 
There you go. Good boy. Good. Fetch. Now I'm going to let him drop here, if he will, and then we'll apply a correction if he drops. Because I don't want him to do that. Fetch. Boy. Sit up. Fetch. Tap on the bottom of the jaw lightly to help remind him. Keep your mouth closed to help firm up that grip. Good. Good fetch. Good. Give. And he's panting a little bit today already, um, even though it's only 75 degrees. Uh, but he's already panting pretty good. Um, he's got a big, thick coat like his daddy. Let's do one more here. Fetch. Oh, that was good. He reached for it, not quickly, but he immediately reached as soon as the pressure came on. Good. Give. So that's what I'm looking for. That's the progress we want to see. And then after he does his work, he gets some more fun, gets some more uh, fun, happy retreat. Good boy! Ah. Good boy. Hey, come on. There you go. Give. And notice I'm using the same terms with him uh, to go uh, when he goes and does a fun one. It's the same term to give me first. Good boy, buddy. Atta boy. Get him, huh? Can I get your bird? Huh? All right, one more, one more. Gotta end on a good one. But you can see, even though I was just pinching his ear, just causing him to be uncomfortable, you know, just causing him to, you know, some pressure, um, you know, leaning on the dog. Yeah. Uh, he's still happy to go retrieve. Tail wagging, you know, he, he's just begging me to throw it one more time. So. Um, real happy with Buddy, solid progress.